Louis, so today I'm going to show you this one is the Homer H2. We're going to replace the windshield and we got my glass already prepared, the primary set because you see the sky looks like it's going to rain. Look at those sky, uh, clouds over there. So it's like raining coming on this way. But I think I have a time. I'm going to set the windshield with the WRD system set up and cut with the spider because I have to go fast. Remember, we're going to attach on this side. Now, in the old day, my masters used to say this kind of cows they call the clips you know they're holding the the, uh, the cow they call the pit jaw because when they open or they bite there's no way you it's no possible release you have to break it so hope i don't have any problem today i'm looking here is missing one clip so i'm gonna go for the next one is over there so probably the windshield has been replaced before maybe not i'm not sure about it let me check it out Probably no, but if this one really is easy, it's because it has been already opened before. There you go. You see? So this kind of clip sometimes they, this is not really hard. The big ones with the metal inside here, because they open inside, there's no way you can release those. Okay, this one the same like the H3. Remember it's coming with a little clip. And example, this kind of clip, that's why they call the pit jaw. You see that one? Because when these little things open, the tits open like this, or they bend it, that's it. You cannot take them off. So, my masters, they call like that the pig jowl. Because they don't let it go. Alright. Oh, my You see? One of those is open already. So, my master used to say, just shake it. And release you see that's what master say because when you try to open it open it open it it's gonna bend it bend it but you, he say when you start shaking or making tones the clips start really loosen it's strong so I don't know they always used to say that and works like you see I was stuck in those two clips I just shake it around and they pop so something about that is it true remember your wipers are easy and now we're gonna go on the difficult part because remember here what I say it's gonna be a couple of clips uh, and um, you know crossing the area by the cow and this kind of cow is like a plastic or fiber I never I never know if it was plastic or fiber you know what huh? I never have a time to investigate that someone can tell me about it I appreciate it because I never asked if it was a plastic or fiberglass but I think it's plastic I don't think it's a fiber because fiber can break easy and this one sometimes you can bend it and move it like that and didn't break it so I don't think it's fiber I think it's gonna be plastic okay so we're gonna remove those two corners Phillips right here and I'm gonna try to release those remember this is the plastic cow so we're gonna get careful so this is gonna start this one is for the four remember the seats for the 1551 so we're gonna see I gotta go deep So my first clip is going to be right there, it's in that part right there. So my master used to say shake it and pull it, okay, you see, and I already released one. Now the second one is right here. So the mistake we do is always get the tool and pop, and that one is not the bad idea, but it's going to make the clip open one side, the, the part is inside. Now this one, the same way. I'm gonna shake a little bit. Shake it. You see? They already released those clips right here. They only have to pull is those two is a three right here. So that one's always the more harder. Okay, so what I'm doing here, I'm gonna find the clip probably it's right here, and they say shake it and make a little pull. Let me just get this one here. You shake it in those direction and you see that so it's the only tricky here is shake the uh, the cow and pull it out because if you use the screwdriver a hook you're gonna open those clips and they're not gonna come out anymore you see open one remember you're gonna be stuck with the wiper right there let me just get a better catch there you go shake it at this point i'm stuck with that part okay let me 
release. Open. There you go. You see that? Now here, we're gonna do it's down here a little bit. And you see any of those clips bend it. I mean if someone has experience doing this kind of job, the hummers, they understand what I say about this kind of clips because when you shake it you see some this is what happened exactly the clips stay there this one stay there because it's open inside and this gonna is no way you can take them out and I, uh, this is a good say because you see that one what I'm talking about this one even when I shake they open but this way is more easy because sometimes you start pulling pulling and and then this part they're gonna break so this one is the hardest this this kind of a homer cows this is gonna be very really, really difficult okay now with the pliers we're gonna just bend it back these little pieces and that's it all right and in and the other one is stuck on the body the only we have to do is just you can find this one of pliers this one is a set you can pull the uh the subaru clips very easy the only you have to do is pull from the bottom, just pitch a little bit and just take them off and it's really, it's really nice. I'm going to show you for the next one, you have uh, one of those. Because this one, you see, you close and you can open, you see? Because your players, this one is open too, but you see these players go with those little things right here. They push in and you can release it. So you can buy those in Amazon, so it's really nice. Okay, now let's go be beside those moldings. Let me take this one. It's loose already. If it's not loose, it I had to use my my Spain wrench just to open it. And remember, <clears throat> now many guys do these uh, homers all the time. Broke this little like a little pins right here, and the mold is gonna be loosening and less strength. And you have to use some glue or maybe bureau tape. Or people use double face tape or urethane because they can play with the wind noise okay but the true is all the, the jobs I found the problem then be not the windshield was the strip right here because when they bend the latches they start to loosen strain you get a wind noise from this part and people all the time use double face tapes on these ways uh -huh. I have to just cover my interior I didn't cover yet I start outside first so remember before you start working inside you can cover your interior okay now <clears throat> let me take the molding on this stop it's more easy you release this molding it's just with the little glue right here so This is a nice one for the year. You don't see too many of these trucks in good conditions. Some are really nice, but some is really bad. This truck's still in good shape. The problem with this one is a drinker, a drinker gasoline. Okay, so let's go inside. Let me what I left my little um, <clears throat> this one right here because I'm gonna take the mirror off. Um, I already put my line for my spider inside. I'm gonna put my covers, my blankets on the seats. Just one second. Uh. <clears throat> okay, so now it's time to cover and protect our seats. Ok, 
Okay, now everything is covered. Okay, so let's run the line. A little bit is good. Alright, let's see. My line is already inside. From that side, I mean. Let me catch this one here. I don't want to lose that line. Maybe my dash protector. So because sometimes I'm, I, I pass little steps when it's, I'm nervous because you know it's going to rain. So I'm really scared if it start raining I don't have any room in the shop they don't let me go in because they don't have any spot open so that's why I'm a little scared because if it start raining you know there's no way I can just cover this truck it's really high special got the tools the truck so it's gonna be a mess so that's why I avoid the step cover the seats you know you see a little nervous today because I don't want to get any rain one Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Because this one is a big one. Okay. Remember, have a careful with those gravity stops. Because this one they can break your line especially when you use a lot i got it more like probably six times with this one so i just gotta get careful because i don't want to break my line this is more witness after five after five six seven times you gotta get careful with everything Now remember, many people complain with the spider because they say it's moving too much inside. And, and is it true? But you know why is it true? Because we never clean the glass inside. I always clean, clean my windshield from inside and I never have any move from the spider. But many people complain a lot. They say the, the system moves too much, but that's because sometimes the angle is not the right one or the glass is really dirty. So, So I recommend you just clean your glass from inside a little bit because if not you, your, your system is going to move a lot because sometimes the glasses has like a little film on the glass maybe it's smoking or something it's a contaminate but I don't know what it is but sometimes they move a lot I know that but I don't have anything move from me but let me show you why because before I pass my clean a little bit I never show but I'm gonna show you now because I want to show you there's no problems and sometimes you go straight you're gonna move but you can just play a little angle like this I mean it's not gonna make any problem okay what I'm saying we have to clean the glass a little bit remember that's why sometimes your suction cup is going to move a lot you clean the dust and the little contamination is going to help a lot okay so many people complain with this system because they say the system moves too much but it's because the glass is dirt or you catch something pitch wheel bin numbers and that's when the system moves a lot so you see i'm gonna i can you see it's getting really easy so If it's gonna move it's because I catch something.
You see, my system is attempting to move, but it's it's just like a little shake. That's normal. But many guys complain like sometimes I saw the system moving like this, but it's because it's not on the right angle or, or it's catch something, you know, the pitch wheel or something. Remember, you have to lift four inches to have enough room to catch your uh, your protector. That's protector like this. You see, you got a room and. You see, in this case, you see my system move, right? That's because I catch the, the, the gravity stop. Let me show you. It's exactly right here. So when I catch the gravity stop, my system moves. What does that mean? The system is gonna move just when we catch something, okay? So this is a perfect example when I say it's not gonna move, but if I catch something, the system moves. In this case, you see, when I go through the, through the um, gravity stop, my system moves a little bit. That's because we catch something, but no, because it's killing the glue. Okay, because you see, it's still cutting with no problem. So remember, if the system moves, it's because you catch something. Okay, you can lift four inches from here. cutting with no problems just when you catch something the system is gonna move I'm gonna go here I can go more long, more down but I'm gonna go more close to the headliner because sometimes you go too close here you're gonna lose where the line goes it's gonna be behind you're gonna see you're not gonna see it but today I'm gonna go like this because this part is a little low but it's all right. And I forget this this video has to be in Spanish. I'm sorry. I forget it. But it's right tomorrow. I will start recording videos tomorrow, so I'm gonna make some in Spanish. But today it's gonna be in English. Okay. Okay, remember we're gonna go at the same here. That's gonna help us. That's what you think is making this tool in this way. Because if the tool wants to move, it's gonna stop with the pillar side. Okay? Every tool is made by purple, so remember that. Alright, I'm gonna go with the last cat. Okay, and the last cut. I'm not gonna cut the video, okay? Just the end, I start to the end. And here we don't have any problem, so we can go here a little more far away, but I'm gonna go, I say you go like this, it's nice, but you can go a little angle. But more low you can, it's not touching the dashboard, but very close. And I have room to protect my dashboard. You see, in this case, let's see what happens. That's because you see that much glue right here. When you have these kind of gaps, you see it's really high and really low, it's gonna make like a nut, okay? So that's what I'm saying. If you stuck with something, your tool is gonna move, okay? You saw that already. So, so what happened is, we stuck because the bee the there, it's really difficult, but what happened? Let me show you. I'm gonna show you something. What I'm saying is not the tool. The only you have to do check check the difference, right? It's really tight now. Well, I'm gonna pull this a little bit. Right there. Okay. I'm gonna make a little cut with my blade. That's why I 
when we start cutting remember i say in my videos you have a lot of glue or excess of glue just make a cut with your blazer blade without scratch the pitch wheel that's going to help it and let me show you you see if i start cutting my 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 system is going to move too much let me show you something i'm going to cut this little thing without scratch the pitch wheel just one like this just the surface no no deep it just go beside like this an angle okay don't don't scratch the pitch well okay you see that okay now you're gonna see the difference I'm gonna send my system was before right here. Now you will see the difference now. I have to get the video now because I have to just set the tool but it still is in the same position. Now we're gonna see when we cut the bee, remember the little piece of gap. Let me just go. Uh, there you go. Okay, we're gonna ready to cut. Remember, I cut the little gap outside. So remember, with the razor blade, just cut the edge. That's gonna help a lot. As you can see, it's gonna move no much. You see that? Move a little bit. That's of course, it's gonna move because remember, over there, I cleaned my glass. And here, I didn't clean. You see what happened? So if I stuck something, moves, moves. But if I clean, and I get careful with the gravity stop, so something I catch, move less but here is going to make that one okay guys so we finished the cut over here so i have to cut the bit a little bit but i will show you sometimes the the, the tool moves a lot when the glass is about the glass not the tool because the tool is fine it's just uh, sometimes you gotta contaminate the glass or something. Okay, so let's gonna take this one off. Yeah, you see it's a lot of glue here and I was uh, stuck right here a little bit but not too much I could be on the last part because I have to move on but my section cup moved less but on this side I didn't clean it so the right side I clean this one not that's why I moved a little bit more so I'm thinking probably the problem we have the section cup is because we don't clean 